Ikea's announced. Um, hold on, hold on. Can I point? Building... Wait, 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 wait. Can I point out this website? <laughs> are you a uh, frequent purveyor of geeksaresexy.com? Or, I'm sorry, sorry <laughs> .net? Uh, yes, see, I you, you even corrected me, so. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's one of my daily reads, honestly. Really? Um, I, yeah. Is this one I should be adding to the list? I It, it seems like they cover some more niche topics like this that may not hit like i i i, I hit the in, in gadget net for for the general tech topic mm -hmm. and then i hit i hit um some like nine to five mac and i more and the mobile nations network and stuff like that this seems this geeks are sexy seems to hit more topics like this that are more broad based but they also hit a lot of pop culture comic book what happened on shield kind of thing too so awesome. it, it's kind of the all about catch-all for things that i probably wouldn't have picked up that's specifically for mac or android or or even some of the more like, like general more popular tech that, like, like i, I said this like i end be... up on when john claude van damme meets my little pony but yes <laughs> <laughs> They do some cool stuff with how to do cosplay and, and, and whatnot, but 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 this topic. But your topic. I'm, actually, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to divert you, <laughs> but I just couldn't get. I, guess, no, okay. I just couldn't get past that website, geeksaresexy.net. If you want to read as Chilla does, I just like that it's a .net. <laughs> <laughs> you probably don't want to go to the .com on here. I'm, I'm just just be safe. <laughs> The, the the thing that I, I saw this and I'm like, oh, that's cool. What a gimmick. And then the, the more and more I thought about it. So, so Ikea is going to build in wireless charging capabilities into some of their furniture, whether it's nice. a, a, a lamp or a desk or, or whatnot. And I was like, meh, whatever. Okay, next, next article. And then the more I sat and read some other articles, I was thinking, wait a minute. So you're telling me that because I have an Ikea desk that I'm actually sitting at right now, that I could just put my phone down on my, on my desk or on the corner table when I get home from work or on the nightstand next to the bed, and there's no wire. And it, to me, this makes a lot more sense than, okay, I went and bought this little charge mat or charge pad for me to take and place my device on to me being built into the piece of furniture just takes it to the next the next step from my perspective because the ease of use right i'm, I'm not going to have to yes you're going to have to outfit your house so mm -hmm. every piece of furniture where you're going to set down a, a, a mobile device um could potentially charge off of it and then i thought well think about it if they put multiple pads of these in the desk and your laptop could use this and your phone and your tablet. And, and to me, it just makes it that seamless way to charge a device. Um, the, the other thing that I was thinking, and I, I think they did a pretty good design thing, at least from the lamp perspective, um, the charge cord is built into the same cord that powers the light bulb and the lamps. So it's not like you have two wires running off this stand or whatever now in the, in the nightstand or in, the, in a corner table um obviously you're gonna you're gonna have a cord that then comes off of that device um but i don't know it's, it, to me it's just it definitely solves a need hmm. and i could see a lot of people wanting to put these in very specific places in their house one of the things i'm hoping is that we see over time is someone uh, more companies do this right because not everyone may shop at ikea but to me i think it, the, the cost differential comes in at like 22 dollars that's not bad. so that's not to, bad to put that kit in yeah. a piece of furniture it's, it's definitely worth it because that what the, that's what needs to have kind of like what happened on tvs in 3d it's just everywhere you buy a tv you have right. it right uh, you buy I, I buy a lamp and i can charge my phone you know it just becomes connected you know until the point where it's widespread enough that apple finally puts it in their phones right um mm -hmm. and somehow does it better than everybody else i guess but um but no no i think that's really cool it, it, it is are there like designer brands uh above ikea doing anything like this not that i have not that i've seen that that don't involve some kind of 
charge mats or right. it, it's not built into the product. And, and that's where I think this, this solves the design issue of, okay, I have a corner table and now I have this, this bump sitting across it and a right. wire running off of it. That's where I, I think they've, they've taken into account. I haven't seen any, mm-hmm. um, what was that? What was that website that, that we used to make fun of that was, um, it was, uh, it was someone from Apple's favorite website, the fancy, the fancy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you fu- might, you... Fuzzy, uh, uh, Fuzzwad used to, used to always connect stuff on the fancy and I got on, it was one of the very, the very few sites that were actually connected to Google class early on. <laughs> I think it's the fancy.com. So it, like, which is, um, um super chic geeky things i guess you could say um i can't even type the name of this it, it, it's it's just fun to just kind of list a bunch of stuff that you'll never be able to afford like apparently uh the first thing i see welcome to the fancy um guy in a what is this like a motorized skateboard golf cart thing i don't yes. even know what what this is um but yeah just the most ridiculous and then pizza for some reason. I think it's. I think it's gone it's a, a little off. It's a towel. Place. It's a beach towel. Oh, it's a beach towel. It's a pizza beach towel. Oh, there you pizza, go. Beach towel. It's, it's, it's probably a little bit more affordable. Um. So yeah, look at that thing. Who's gonna buy? I mean, yeah. Who's gonna buy that? It's like, it's a golf cart. Mm-hmm. But it, like, it's not. It doesn't look maneuverable enough to be a skateboard thing. This has got to be a Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> With lots of motion blur, I actually no, I can I, I can actually see the motion blur on it now. Um, that's completely <laughs> a Photoshop, um, and I don't even have a good monitor. I can see it. Uh, <laughs> it's it, it, it's like Pinterest for for the ridiculous. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, so uh, my. Author-